Western Australian coastline. The slow movement of fish in silhouette against the blue glow entering the cave is mesmerizing. Realismo. Attracting divers around the world for an experience like no other. Fish Rock sits at the edge of the deep ocean at a point where the continental shelf drops away. As the powerful East Australian current flows south from the Great Barrier Reef towards Sydney, it strengthens and accelerates, stirring up cool, nutrient-rich waters, bringing tropical and temperate marine life together. It's become famous for the huge variety of fish that gather here. Realismo, compa. Outside the deep entrance to the cave, a large wabagong shark has found the perfect place to lay low during the day. But fish rock and the tunnel running through it is unique for a more vital reason. It is one of the few remaining refuges for the critically endangered gray nurse shark, one of Australia's most threatened apex predators. Here they are concentrated in unusual abundance both inside the cave and in the deep gutters that surround it. Deep in the tunnel, the water is one degree warmer than the surrounding ocean, creating its own unique ecosystem. And the perfect haven for sleepy sharks who hunt by night and rest by day. As if from nowhere, they appear, floating along the length of the cave, only turning when they need to. The rows of sharp, ragged teeth and frightening appearance have earned these sharks a reputation for inspiring fear in humans. In the 1960s, they were thought to be ferocious man-eaters and were hunted and fished to near extinction. It wasn't until scuba divers began interacting with these relatively large but docile creatures was it realized that their slaughter had been a sad case of mistaken identity. Despite their fearsome appearance, attacks on humans are extremely rare. These sharks have since become a favorite among divers and respectful encounters like these are an everyday occurrence at Fish Rock. Although they can live to be over 30 years of age, one of the disadvantages for gray nurses are their slow reproduction cycles. Taking up to eight years to mature and producing only one or two pups every second year. This is the lowest reproductive rate of any shark. Due to this acute vulnerability, their numbers on Australia's eastern coastline fell to critically endangered levels, perhaps as low as just a few hundred individuals.
as we venture out of the large entrance to the cave and head down towards the sandy gutters, the light returns, and we begin to see some of the scars and scrapes endured by older sharks. Along with the usual wear and tear of ocean life, signs of entanglement in nets, hooks, and lines are all too common. Between human activity, changing climate, and their own biology, the odds are stacked against them for long-term survival. But there is hope. After the rapid population decline, gray nurses became the first sharks in the world to become a protected species in 1984. And local conservation efforts are working to establish a no-take marine reserve to give these sharks the best chance of thriving into the future. Full recovery to pre-1960s levels will be slow and could take many decades. For now at least, Fish Rock remains one of their last refuges. It is too early to know whether there is light at the end of the tunnel for Eastern Grey nurses, but they are a testament to humanity's ability to be both cruel and kind in equal measure. To drive species to the brink of extinction, only to then work tirelessly to bring them back again. The hope is that visitors will continue to wonder at the Grey nurses of Fish Rock for generations to come one of the last places to find a treasure we almost lost and could still lose in the very near future.